What's the buzz? This is Zeta Beetle, and welcome back to the next installment of Minecraft Shorts. Today, we are looking into the Sapphor Remorse Cannon. As with the previous models, this one has a name that's based off of uh, a Metroid Prime enemy, namely the Remorse Class Turret, off of uh, Metroid Prime 3. Anyway, this thing has a, um, a supposed minimum of about uh, 36 meter uh, uh, blasting range. So I think that's about to the first target over here, like this. And uh, like with uh, the um, uh, record that showed in, um, in uh, setting the stage the Battle of Southside, it is a cluster bomb cannon. Meaning, it'll um, uh, shoot out a ton of TNT that will then explode after a certain amount of time. Um, and this thing is the third longest range uh, anti-air cannon in the whole lineup. I believe that one over there has more uh, ground range, but it is not anti-air at all. Speaking of anti-air, that's the mode that we're going to try out next. You see that target up there? Most of the time, um, or at least half the time, the Remorse class cannon will hit it. And this time, the, um, uh, the rolls are different for the um, Remorse class cannon than they have been for the previous two anti-air models. That is to say, Whereas the um, uh, Humility and Growler cannons were um, uh, originally um, anti-air, the um, uh, Remorse class cannon um, uh, has uh, uh, the distinction of being the um, uh, first naval cannon that I have done. Okay, so in the practice runs, in the practice runs, it would normally hit that target, but it's being really temperamental right now. <sighs> if it would just, uh, if it would uh, please quit doing so, I would be happy, but <sighs> it doesn't appear to want to quit uh, doing it right now. So. The range, um, uh, the range that this normally goes at, um, there we go, there we go. That's what I was looking for right there. That was, uh, the point of impact that, uh, uh that this cannon uses, uh, uh, sometimes. So, yeah, it's not a reliable, uh, anti-aircraft cannon, um, at least in that regard, specifically. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna get rid of this target right quick and see if um, you know, without hitting. Um, well, it's it's going to hit the bedrock part of it to uh, you know, still, but uh, you know, what I'm trying to get at is if it doesn't hit anything, would it hit that target back yonder um, and uh, do any damage? Or is it just going to be um, the same old story? And it looks like it's going to be just the same old story. Um, I um, you know, most of the time I will um, you know, do a cannon and uh, do some extensive research on it to, you know, with uh, with this type of stuff. But um, unfortunately, this time you know, this was a bit of a uh, last minute thought for the day. I'm going to try and do better next time. Till then, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you all next time. Until then, adios amigos.